I don't know what could possibly be more fundamental to you or anyone than you have to concede elections. And he hasn't conceded the last one. He's plainly not going to concede this one. He now has all of his sycophants around him parroting his party line, which is when they, when they ask them, will you uh, abide by the election results? Uh, yes, if it's a free and fair election, which is another way of saying if we win. Mm. You really think this is a place this country should be? No, 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 no. If there was no shenanigans, that's what he mean, means. If there was no shenanigans in the election, then yes, I will concede. But this election was the weirdest, most fraudulent one I've ever seen. Okay, people seem to have forgotten about Trump was Trump already won. Okay, but then a water leak happened and they stopped counting in the middle of the night. They stopped counting. And then after four hours, whoopsie, Biden won. A little bit fishy. Yeah. Slightly. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to defend the election denialism. I'm not one of those people who but believes that. what's more that. important? What, what kind of country do we have? How we... about my daughter not going into a locker room and seeing a man's penis? That's important, too. I'm talking about the difference between this and something fundamental, which is our democracy. The fact that you have to respect who wins an election or else you don't have the kind of country we've always had before. How about... I mean, I feel like we're keeping Okay, going... how about... Uh... You respect the president uh, when Trump went into office. How about you not bashing him constantly 24-7 uh, in every news uh, outlet there is 24-7 for four years, continuing on to eight years? How about that? You had no problem with that, though, did you? Yeah, you had no problem with that, right? Judging the guy as Hitler before he even had done anything. You had no problem with that, right, Bill Maher? Going around the Rosebury bush about this, and we're not going to make any progress, so let's stop talking about it. But, uh, you know... Uh, I just, I mean, you, you keep saying sort of I'm nuts because I don't see the difference between the elephant and the mouse, and I'm telling you I identify them differently than you do. Hillary Clinton, of course, is the original election denier. I'm sure you voted for her in 16. Well, she's not an election denier. She, she absolutely was the OG election denier. She, first of all, she came out before the sun had risen to concede the election to Trump. And then spent the next four years saying he was illegitimate. He was an illegitimate president. She's... She's still saying it today. Okay, well, first of all, saying so, she didn't say he was an illegitimate. Yes, well, she did. You tell me exactly what she said. She said those exact words repeatedly. Okay. I, I mean, you only get two choices. That's right. You get Donald Trump, a criminal uh, election denier who is going to transform this country into an authoritarian place like we've never seen before. Oh, okay. Or did that happen or attempt to be happening? Just a few years ago with uh, Brandon saying, uh, everybody has to take the Jabberino or you can't uh, work. Who's the authoritarian? Or you get Joe Biden with all his flaws. Also and a criminal. Crumbs. Okay. What, what is his crime again? The special counsel Robert Hur said he'd committed felonies, but he wouldn't indict him because he was a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. He couldn't get a conviction in front of a jury. And, and what was that crime? That was the... Uh... Classified documents. All over his basement, his garage, everywhere. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Well, okay. Here's the difference. Immediately, Biden, he shouldn't have had them. Immediately, he said, oh, sorry, my bad, and gave them back. That's oh, sorry. No, no, no. You know what the real difference is? Trump actually is allowed to have them because he was the for former president. And Biden was not allowed to have them. Which is illegal. So, but you, you're looking past that, right? That's why he Trump didn't get charged said, with obstruction. But Tr Trump has two classified documents, uh, pieces to his case. One is you had them. And the second is you obstructed justice when we demanded them back. So, okay, against Biden, you don't get charged with obstruction. But number one, where's the, where's the classified documents charged against him? He's also a felon. You got your story. You know, I, 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 I look. Why can't the difference be one actually 
had the ability to declassify documents and keep them because he'd been the president, and one didn't because yes, he should have mind. been looking at documents only in a skiff while a sitting U.S. senator, and clearly he stole classified documents that he wasn't entitled to and never had the ability to declassify them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe you know more about that. Than I can never be wrong. I'm Bill Maher. I do. I don't remember that part of it, and I, I always don't trust anything I hear until I vet it from the other side because everybody sort of has their one-sided view of it. And Yeah, you don't, right? You clearly don't have your one-sided view. Narrative is more important than truth. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Narrative is more important than truth. Yeah, that's exactly you. Yeah. The view of it and narrative is more important than truth. Yes. I know this is the right-wing narrative. This is you? I thought I'm you not were... like that, Bill. I, I care about facts. I practiced law for 10 years. I want to get the cases right more than I want to okay. get clicks. And I have a lot of lefties who watch me. So I'm not like that. All I can tell you is those are the facts. Yeah, this guy is full of himself.